Hey, what's up everybody? My name is OnePeg. In this video, it almost feels as though it might be not, not really news. I guess it's news. I guess it's technically news. It's just going to be a short one because there isn't a whole lot here, but I will explain kind of how this works. Uh, Dark and Darker got a Peggy rating. And I know that that sounds kind of strange because I'm one peg and the whole Peggy thing. And, you know, sometimes people call me Pegs or Peggy or Peggers or whatever. It, 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 pet names from the community. I love y'all. <laughs> hey, and by the way, uh, as, speaking of the community, if you want to sub the channel here, that would be sweet. You know, maybe come by his Twitch stream once in a while, twitch.tv slash one peg. Anyway, I'm done. I'm done plugging Patreon. Uh, Patreon.com slash real underscore one peg. That would be also really awesome. I love my patrons. You guys are the best. Dark and Darker uh, got a PEGI rating, P-E-G-I. Now, that stands for the Pan-European Game Information, and that works very similar to the United States' ESRB that rates video games on levels of maturity according to things like the amount of violence in their games or sex, bad language, other audiovisual content that might be considered as not appropriate for all ages. So in the United States, where things get rated like M for mature, et cetera, you know, where you have to have an ID in order to be able to buy the game, uh, same thing with Dark and Darker and the European uh, rating system. Peggy is in Europe. So in this case, Dark and Darker received a Peggy rating a few days ago, and this was posted on Reddit, um, and they, they rated it Peggy 16. In this case, they say it's an adventure game set in medieval fantasy dungeons, which players band together to uncover mythical creatures, defeat monsters while staying one step ahead. Uh, they gave it this rating because of violence. The use of drugs, basically chugging beers in the game if you're a cleric, uh, was something that they thought was more like adult in theme. And obviously the, uh, the hack and slash violence and the little blood splashes and that kind of stuff. I think the rating kind of sort of fits. It's not really like made for younger people, I don't think. And then plus you have the in-game VoIP and stuff and people can say weird things. Anyway, while this isn't necessarily news, the one thing that I did kind of want to draw people's attention to is the rumor mill. People seem to think that because there was a Peggy rating that was given to the game, uh, that must mean that the game is destined for early access at some point in the near future. Now, obviously, the guys over at Iron Mace are continuing to stay the course. They're continuing to develop the game. This is likely something that they applied for in advance. However, the process is somewhat automated. Uh, in, in this case, and I'll take you back to, this, to, the, to the Peggy webpage, um, the way that they talk about this is that what you do is you, you fill out a, an online application for every version of your game. And that online application, based on the hopefully truthful responses that you give it, will come back with a provisional rating. It gives you that provisional rating, but it still gets reviewed. So there is a provisional rating. The rating system automatically determines a provisional age rating with content descriptors. So that is done provisionally. From there, the administrators receive the game content from the publisher and then review the provisional age rating. And then this says NICAM takes care of the games rated 3 and 7, whereas the VSC rating board reviews 12, 16, and 18 ratings. Depending on the review, the administrators approve or alter the provisional rating, and Peggy, uh, and Peggy delivers a license to the publisher for use of the age rating icon and the relevant content descriptors. So... I don't know whether this is provisional based on that application or if this is based on a review of the administrators. It's very possible that this can change over time because we're looking at early access and then the eventualities of whatever the game turns into upon full quote-unquote release. But this looks as though it was something that was applied for a while ago. Even though it came out as a provisional thing, it doesn't necessarily mean the game is ready for release because this screenshot exists and this is an old Reddit thread from two years ago that lists the time that the game was rated and then how long it took for the game to actually be released. So in this case, we have Ghost of Tsushima took 24 days, but you can ratchet that all the way up to 218 days for Cyberpunk, which was 2020 May and didn't release until 2020 of December. Although these were all done within a calendar year. Uh, it looks as though the average time here was somewhere around, somewhere around 100 days, let's say. So it could very well be that the game doesn't end up seeing shelves, if at all, for like three months. Because if we're going to go on the averages, it's probably about three months. We don't know, though. So I just want to throw that out there. Like I said, this is almost not news. It's just that they got a PEGI rating. There is no ESRB rating as of now, by the way. It's only for Europe. It very possibly could be that we'll see an ESRB rating. I, I have no idea. I, I'm just kind of wanting to, <laughs> I guess, show you guys what exists. Uh, for those of you wondering about the court case and Pacer and all that other stuff, uh, Pacer has not updated anything as of yet. It is very possible that the meeting happened already with the litigators and the judge regarding uh, discovery and that whole process. 
but that doesn't necessarily mean it will make it into the court record. It's kind of a rarity for those closed door meetings to end up making it onto the official record for the public to see, because unless there's a, like an order issued from the judge and a reasoning behind that, we don't typically see any of that stuff. My guess would be is that we will see whether or not there is a stay granted on the motions or if any of the motions were granted. Um, we'll see what those look like in the coming days, maybe. But something's going to happen inside of the next couple of weeks. I will definitely be keeping you guys updated. As soon as something happens, I promise you I will make a video about it. Hell, it could be tonight. There's still another three hours as of the recording of this video. There's still another three hours on the clock for uh, the court to have concluded for its day, and there could be an upload today. I don't know. But we will obviously keep an eye on it, okay? Thank you guys so much for coming and checking out this video. I very, very much appreciate it. I love you all. Thank you for lending me your eyeballs. I will see you in the next one. Peace.